Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the products I've bought on pre-order from the new Stamping Up catalogue that goes live on the 3rd of June 2020. I think the date today is about the 19th, no 20th of May so it's not long now. Um, as usual I'm not allowed to show you the inside of the catalogue, I'm only allowed to show you the front. Okay, so that's that bit. As you know, every year we have five new in colours, so I'm going to show you those first. This one is Bumblebee, and I know quite often we look at these colours and we think that's just the same as. So what I've done is I've bought what I think this looks close to, which is Crushed Curry. Okay, so you can see that really is quite, quite close. But hopefully you can see the differences on the screen. So that's uh, Bumblebee. And then we have just Jade. Now I don't think this looks anything like mint, ma mint macaroon, but my hubby thought it does. So I thought, well, I'll get a sheet of that. It's quite different. They go together brilliantly. So love that. Then this one is totally a new colour. And this is Cinnamon Cider. We don't have anything that's like that. The nearest I could find would be Cajun Craze. So those two go together really nicely. Then we have Misty Moonlight, which is like a denim blue. And again, we've got nothing like this at all. The nearest would be Night of Navy, which, as you see, really very, very different. And last but not by no means least, we have Magenta madness which looks very close to melon mambo until you put melon mambo up against it and you can see really very very different okay so just in case you're thinking that looks really very very similar i also bought the in color ribbons which is called in color ribbon there's a surprise um it doesn't say whether it's well, it's 100% polyester, but I think most things probably are nowadays. But let me just bring that up close so you can see the actual weave on it. Okay, it's really very, very soft. And one in each of all the colours. And again, that looks quite a denim in blue, I think. So that's the ribbons. We don't have the inks nor the uh, marker pens um, but we will have them hopefully by the time the catalogue goes live. These are the new 6x6 2020-2022 in colour designer series paper and they've all got the same designs which is those two like a, a wooden design and a textured design and on the back beautiful little spots which have got lines altern alternating, some going down and some going across and this one which has writing on it which every now and again it says to love what we do and share what we love which is a statement of the heart of stamping up so I imagine that it's also on there in German and in French so these are all the colours show you what it looks like in Bumblebee and Magenta Madness. I love these designs. I bought the first set from two years ago and um, I have to say I think the designs are improving every year because they do change them each year. And again here's my denim blue or Misty Moonlight to be correct. So that's that, and also in the in colours are the enamel dots, which are almost, they look as if they are um, glass actually, but they're called enamel, enamel. I don't know if you can see the particular kind of shine that is on there. It's really lovely, I like that. So let me move these out of the way. So first of all, the stamp set I'm showing you is, I put all these um, 
washi tape on my stamp sets until I've used them and then I can take them off. So I can look at my shelf and I can see straight away whether I've used that stamp set or not. This is a stamp set just on its own, no punch, no dies or anything to go with it and it's called Comfort and Hope which have got nice little background type thingies. Um, in fact they look really like um, rhinestones, that's clever. Um, and a nice font with sayings. This one I actually earned because Stamping Up did a special promotion and I achieved what they wanted us to achieve. The first stamp set I'm showing you has a coordinating punch to go with it and this will do tags and where you see the dotted lines there that will punch different widths here and it shows you what the top would be like up there. I hope you can see that and these are beautiful sentiments. I love this. I love the um, the font on these ones. Um, wildly grateful, you're my person, just because, always miles apart but still in my heart. Love that. Cherished friend, trust me, you're lovely. Smile, let's cheer up. And with these little flowers as well. Absolutely brilliant for making tags, sentiments, and a little bit of decoration there as well. So that's one. The... Um, punch is called lovely labels pick a punch because you can pick whichever one you want to use that's a reverse if that helps to understand a bit more what the cut would be like oh sorry let me just put that back on there that one looks like it's actually coming off so I'll do that later and this one I love this this is the confetti flowers border punch okay it's got uh, a stamp here that will match up with the punch and what I really like about it is you can use it just to punch out little flowers I think it's been quite some time since we've had such tiny flowers that we can use as decoration and I think that is really superb in fact does it actually line up with that I'm not, I'm not sure that that does you know somebody's oh around that way Oh yes, yeah, somebody said it did, um, and I hope it does. I think it does. Put that one there. Now two sets I've got with um, dies. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's birds and branches. It's two-step stamping. So you've got the extra wing here so that you could make that really 3D and one that side and I like the fact that you've got one bird facing that way one bird facing that way and you've got legs for them as well so you can really build up how much of your bird you want because obviously you don't want legs if you're going to sit the bird in the uh, nest there and that's another idea I like these are the dies okay you can have a die cut um, a fancy cut bird and these are the ones that will fit those that's for the bird nest. You've got three for the eggs and the eggs is one stamp with three so that will die cut all at the same time. I'm um, not sure what this is. This must be flowers somehow. This is what the dies actually look, look like. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. And the legs. Oh, that must be just the feet. I wondered what they were. I thought they were cakes. <laughs> Couldn't think why they'd have cakes in there. Um, that's that little one there. So, and this is great as well. That will do the edge of your uh, cardstock. So it doesn't cut off here. That's only cut because of the scrap of paper that I used. So that's really lovely, like that. But this is great. Really like this. And what I'm thinking is with the little flowers on the confetti punch if you do this one you can put the little flowers on top here and on here possibly even on this one although it might oh the tiny flowers you could so the two sets together would be absolutely brilliant so there's those two then another oh let me I'm going to forget to put these bits back on Uh, this one's called Many Mates. It's got some fabulous sayings on here. 
happy anniversary get well soon just thinking of you and I like how they varied the fonts with them as well the die set is doesn't actually cut anything out here but it does do this beautiful big lace which looks like this and obviously you could cut strips off or you could do say nine squares together and then you've got these three decorations as well so that's another one that I think is absolutely superb right now we're going to come to oh, was this one with that one? I don't think it was was it this is another absolutely gorgeous one that stamp there this one I've had to put two sheets first time I've had to do this but look at what it die cuts I didn't realize until after I'd stuck this on that they needed two sheets each but look at this isn't that absolutely fabulous and they've got these little flowers as well which will go with these I assume that these go inside the center of the flowers the thing is I do do a lot of things in advance of doing these kind of videos like doing the die cuts for you but I never actually stamp with them to see what they come out like which maybe I should do I used this one on my card that I shared on my blog yesterday I'd used that die uh, that uh, sentiment and what I found was the stitched rectangle dies the smallest of the thin dies fits that beautifully which means it fits might not fit that one but it certainly fit that one as well I think it would do um, but that's really lovely it fitted like a glove it was really beautiful and these you can either have it as what I call a die cut which is like that or you can use that in fact either of them you could use to die cut what you've stamped there really absolutely gorgeous so let's pop those two away I wasn't quite sure how to do it um, because I needed two sheets of magnet I wasn't sure whether to do two separate wallets or just put them both into one as you can see I decided to put both into one now the forever greenery bundle so let me start off with the stamp set and the dies first this is called forever fern which is very much um, two-tone when it stamps I can't think what we call that um, but really really lovely images these are the dies to go with the set as well so I haven't actually checked which dies go with which but there's obviously some here that don't match up with anything but this is what you can die cut so these would be the ones that are the stamped images and these will be the extras Got a hair there. Okay. So that's the stamp set and the dies. In this bundle, the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper is absolutely stunning. I have found on this, if there is a design that I don't like, and there is one, I have to be honest. Um, there's always the other side to be used okay now I've already turned all turn it over so that is what's on the back of that one okay so that I can just move them to the side there are one two three four five six greens in here and they're garden green just jade pear pizzazz pretty peacock shaded spruce and soft sea foam Okay, so there's that one. Oops. Now this is the one that I'm not too keen on. But look what's at the back of it. I won't have any trouble using that. I like that one. And on the back of that is that one. So most of these I'll be torn as to which side I want to use. Then there's this one, which I think is nice. I'm not sure what the leaves and everything is that's a great one as well 
This is another one, very similar to the one that we've just gone past back here. Okay, but this one is a lot lighter than this one. So whatever colour you want to use, you've got leaves on a white background that you can choose from. And on the back of this one is this. And I like this as well. I like the colouring particularly on that one. And this is what's on the reverse of it. It's a beautiful set of designer series paper. Let me just put that up like that. And then in this set there are also these foils. And I think there are four sheets. I think you get oh no, maybe three three sheets of each. Each sheet has a tissue between them. So that's one, two, three. Yes, six sheets in all. So you get these sheets here which are card fronts. Let me just move them over to the board and you can see them properly. Okay, so it's all gold foiling. Um, let me see if I can move three of them and get to the ones underneath which are more shapes rather than card fronts. Okay, let's move that off. Let's bring one over here so you can see it properly. Look at those. Beautiful wreath. And these are the um, leaves off of the designer series paper too. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I love these. If I put that one back and that one back. This is like the they've moved on from giving us these with um, done in card lightweight cardstock and made it into foil. So I've done those two. And there are three two ribbons that go with this. One is the gold cord and this one I'm not quite sure what they gave us vanilla because it's white that goes with the cardstock. In fact let me bring that back to show you because the vanilla does still go with it. I think probably because the soft sea foam I mean I I'd still use this vanilla very vanilla with that. Wouldn't you? I think that still goes. So that let me put these back and I'll show you the ribbons properly. Okay, so first of all let's do the cord and then we would do this ribbon. Okay. This is really, really soft. Okay. As you can see how floppy it is, it's not rigid. So that will be lovely for tying bows, I'm sure. Let's just put those two away. And also in this set, something new, which I think is going to be particularly good for Christmas, are these little brass hoops, or gold hoops. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're going to be absolutely super for doing things like um, wreaths, do a partial wreath. I can see these being really, really popular. You get these, I think it's probably a pack of ten, and the diameter is two and one eighth of an inch or 5.4 centimetres to give you an idea of the size. So that was all in that set. Now let's have a look at the in good taste bundle. So first of all the stamp set and the dies. Now with the dies these four have all got ridges on them. These four are all stitched and these two are really quite quite new. And what I did was I saved these so that you could see what is left 
behind. So they were the, let's show you the two circles first. So if you wanted to take a, take a die cut from the, say your top layer so that you could see through it, that's what you would be left with on your layer. That one is really lovely. But this is quite pretty too. But I do like that one better. <laughs> right, so that's those. The stitched ones, you know what they look like. So if you decided to, say, punch two colours and say the flag, for example, if you punch that in two colours and you took the pink flag out and put the other colour in, you could do that with all of these. Okay, so that's the those. And these are the ones with the like embossed line around the outside. Okay. So that was what the, uh, that's the negative, and these are what the positive look like. Okay, so the four stitched, the four with the impression, and the two circles. Okay, so obviously designed to match up going round these. And two good background if you just want a little accent. Beautiful flower there. I'm going to say something. Oh, I did say something about uh, tags. That would be a good one for a tag as well. The good things in life are better with you. Just saying hello, you are so special. You are the best. So that's the stamp set and the dies. And then we have an embossing folder which is called Tasteful Textile. It's a 3D embossing folder. And what I did was I've actually, it's still a bit wet, um, I've actually done a bit of embossing for you so you can see the design there. Okay. Really lovely. Um, and yes, 3D that one. And on the back, it does actually say with dense designs you might see some cracks on the embossed cardstock or paper to prevent this break the fibers in the cardstock before embossing by spritzing lightly with water okay it does also say or bending and curling against the edge of a table but i'm always recommending you spray with water and it's actually there in writing now, so <laughs> I feel redeemed. Um, also some wooden embellishments for this set with the leaves and the twigs called In Good Taste and Design Series Paper. Now on this one you get 24 sheets Again, two with each of the designs, and obviously because you're getting twice the amount, it's reflected in the price. Okay, so this pack is more expensive than your regular packs. But look at these designs. Again, that is on the back of that one. All right, I've prepared myself for this. So you've got all those beautiful bricks, really, really, um, almost photographic if you like, and wood. That's like some tiling, and it has got little square lines joining it. And on the back is that fabric. Isn't that clever? I like this one as well, but then I like white and pale colours. Now which is which? Okay, so this one's on the back of this. This looks like granite. It's got the wood design at the back, but it definitely got a granite type look to it. That's nice. Those tiles look shiny. I mean, they're not on the paper, but I imagine in real life they would probably be shiny. And on the back of that is this, which is like a plaster that's been used in a decorative manner. And then like flooring, if you like, I suppose with the tiles, wooden tiles 
and white plastering. That's nice, I like that one. That's just really unusual. Now I think the zigzag tile, the thin tiles, they look as if they're probably shiny in real life, whereas the bigger ones look flat. Match, rather, I should say. Look at this. That almost looks like a candle wick. Remember what candle wick is? Um, used to get dressing gowns in it. That really feels very, looks tactile. Looks really, really soft. So that was on the back of the zigzag one. Another textured, like fabric type thing. It's the kind of thing I can imagine on uh, carpets or something. Another wooden one. Another tiled one. Now this looks like um, a granite type thing. There's a word I'm trying to think of for here. Can't think of it. But it looks really, really tactile. This one. Don't know what to say, really. It would be a great card as a, a layer of background. Mind you, I would probably use all of mine like that. <laughs> Another tiled looking one. This one has the tiles laid as diamond shapes. But that's really good. More wood panels. More plastering. This is with Rococo Rose. More panelling. Bricks. Another fabric one. Look at that. Oh, that's nice as well. I like that. I like the tiled ones. I think probably because they're so light. And then the wood one. The colours that go with this are basic grey, early espresso, grey granite, night of navy, petal pink, rococo rose, smoky slate, very vanilla and whisper white. But that is a really really good selection and although it would be great for masculine cards it's not going to be just masculine. Okay, now for the next one, there are two stamp sets, two sets of dies with this bundle. And I can't remember what they call the bundle, but never mind. Um, first of all, there is, I'm sure you've all heard about this one, the Jar of Flowers. For this one, we have, as well as putting washi tape on the back of my stamps, oops, these aren't going to stay. I've also put a green spot on them so that I know that these are the new stamp sets and if there's any with washi tape on without the green spot it's from last year and yeah there are some not many. Anyway this is the jar of flowers now this is it has reversible stamps in here Okay, so I've never actually tried using these, but you can use both sides of the stamp, that side, and there's a plain side. It's a great idea, I really must play with that. I did buy the ones that were the, I think it was Cup of Cheers. So to go with this, we have a punch, which will obviously punch out the jar. Okay, and we have, so you can make shaker cards, we have the jam jars, aren't they so cute, they're so tiny, look at that, and it's got adhesive on both sides so it's all nice and easy to do, isn't that gorgeous? really pleased with these. There's loads of different ideas that you could use these for. Loads. Even got, I didn't notice that before, got a screw top on the jar and also 
I'm probably getting the bits mixed up from the two sets but in the catalogue they are both together flowers for every season which are little um, like gem green and clear gemstones which will go in as a shaker there is three a pack of three ribbons one is baker's twine which is if I can show you this it's two blue and white together and they're wrapped around with silver and then there is green gingham I just absolutely love gingham okay see that would also go really well with the what colour is it just jade that'll go well with the forever greenery one as well and this is beautiful too Again, really very, very soft, and I think it'll be easy to tie bows with as well. Beautiful. So they're the three uh, fabrics that go with it. Let me show you the designer series paper, which is called Flowers for Every Season. It's a six by six pad, and you get how many sheets? 48 sheets, so that's four of each. And what I've done is as usual I have twisted the paper around okay so you get those two and then on the back you get those two so if you don't like the designs on that side you've got a really nice design that side that one which I think is rather pretty I like this as well this is my maximum on the amount of colours that I like on paper. I don't like multicolours. Mm, that's probably a bit too much for me. But there's that on the back, so that's no worries. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I haven't turned it over. Now that's more than my colours, but I like that one. So nothing's written in stone. It's just my initial look. I like that as well. Now to put the mustardy colour with the pink, I would never have thought of doing that, but I think that's worked well. Love that. That looks really, really, it's got real depth there. Mm, not my cup of tea at all. That's all right. I like this one. So that's what's on the reverse of that one. Not really my cup of tea, that one, but look. Lovely, yep, I love that. And that one, and I love that too. So nothing's going to be wasted. That's a lovely design. This is lovely as well. This is like Christmas, which is why they're saying it's uh, flowers for all season. And that's for Christmas as well. Again, I'm not normally in stripe, but same colour stripes I'm fine with. That is lovely as well. Three colours, brilliant. And that is the Just Jade. So beautiful designs there. I have to admit that there are, mm, I don't know, about three designs that I'm not overly keen on. But I'm not worried because I like the reverse side. The plain side can be used for absolutely anything. I've also got in this set, it's Celebrate sunflowers which are absolutely amazing images just really so so definite and are going to be brilliant for actual coloring <laughs> congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful that is really super i like that um so Oh, the images are, that's 90%, so they are actually a bit bigger than that. These are the dies, so this one will die cut that, this one will die cut this one, and that is what I call a die cut because it's hollow. That will be hollow as well, but these will do the leaves, and that must be a centre for the flower. There we go. Lovely, isn't it? Those kind of dies could be used for all sorts as well. 
So really like that. And last but no, not by no means least on this set are oh, has my green dot come off again? I'll worry about that later. Uh, these two dies. Now obviously these are a lot, lot smaller than usual and that is because you've probably heard that in the new catalogue you will see the new cut and emboss stamping up machine, die cutting machine and not only is that coming out but also there's a baby machine as well which will take half size embossing folders and also the smaller dies um, really particularly helpful if you do uh, if you go to friends for crafting or what have you want to take your own machine um, it's really brilliant I can't wait to get my hands on it because if you've been watching my videos you know that I'm struggling with my big shot at the moment because it's past its best anyway there are two di uh, two embossing folders in here one that's got the leaf design and one that's got this design and this embossing, these embossing folders are normal, regular embossing folders. They're not 3D. Which means you use the basic um, Big Shot platform and two cutting plates. But this is what they do. Okay, so there's that one. Even though it's not 3D, look at the impression that you get on that one. Isn't it beautiful? And then there's this one, obviously it's only a part of it, it's not all of it, but look at the impression on that as well. Now I did also spray these, um, does it say so? Yes it does, either spritz them or bending and curling against the your desk. So it's that one. Um, last, but by no means least we have the beautiful world set so I'm going to start with the stamp set and the dies now I'm really hoping that this is going to be as good as the sailing home set the sailing home stamp set is being carried forward which I'm really pleased about but obviously not the designer series paper that goes with it um, and that for the past year has been my really amazing go-to set for masculine cards and I'm really hoping that this is going to take over from there as well it's got some really great dies it's got the um, stamps and it's got both sides of the world so that side is the Americas and this side it's Europe Asia Australia so that's really really great and also a different uh, different kind of um, stand for the globe and the pen is a quill for the ink pot there and that's what you have here this is another support for the globe if you wanted to do it that way um, you've got the let me show you you've got the die cuts of the two and that is obviously the Americas and this is Europe Africa Asia and Australia and this is a nice one as well not had one of these before I'm not sure it actually says anything um, it just looks like a lot of different numbers like um, the latitude and longitude numbers but this is nice this just cuts those holes out of your cardstock it doesn't do the strip which is really nice um, and that twirly doesn't fit with either of these but it's just a nice little twirly um, so yeah that's great and the ink pot and the quill so you can do those and uh, with this set there is also an embossing folder which is called old world paper and it is 3D and I have done a piece for you look at that isn't it amazing? I mean that, I don't know, is it the deepest that we've had so far? That's the reverse, you wouldn't want to use that I don't think, but that is really gorgeous. So really pleased with that one. Um, so that, that. We have some fabulous, I call it ribbon, 
and this is faux suede faux suede yeah faux suede trim they're calling it not ribbon and it is gorgeous you feel that and it feels like suede I don't know how much you can see of that but oh my goodness it is gorgeous I remember the days when we used to be able to buy skirts and things in a fabric like that going back a few years um, right and the designer series paper that comes with this and I've let my stamp set go without putting the thingy back on it I must do that I don't mind losing the green spot but not my um, actual washi tape now this um, right okay we have a new foil paper and it is in brass which is part of this set Just, oh look hi see me <laughs> so there we go that's brass okay now let's put that down and then we have the paper and this is the regular 12 sheets on the first four sheets one side has the brass in it and that is the back of that one so that's oh yes that's the map okay so that's Americas, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia these are globes again alternating so we do get the actual world here which is really great I love that Stamping Up have done that and this is on the back of it so that would go quite well with the sailing home as well in fact both of these could be combined with sailing home couldn't they oh, I've got another green dot let's put that on there this one's nice as well I like this got the brass and you know me and uh, script I love the script so this has got oh you can just see that coming through it oh that's clever I don't know can you see that you're getting the if you can look you see the lines coming through here they got two in one there that's clever and this one and this is England Germany and Switzerland Austria France Belgium so that's all of Europe there and Denmark Copenhagen Stockholm so oh yeah North Sea brilliant really lovely and on the other side is this which presumably is the world again I'm trying to work that one out mm, I need time to concentrate on that one work out where the world is I like this one not quite sure if this is meant to be um, like the stars and things because there are images on here like there's a bear there which is what makes me think they're stars so another animal there can you see them this one here there we go you can see that so there are all sorts of largely animals I think there's horses there that one's quite easy to see they're all over and another part of the world which is dominion of oh that's Canada yeah and the United States and the Bahamas so yeah I can see this being combined another one sailing home I think Stamping Up done really well with this really very very well and finally there are some little um, elements metallic metal elements if I can get this opened without pinging my nails off uh, let me see if I can use my tweezers to Oh, there we go nice and easy so what we have here like photograph corners back and front and buckles back and front so let me bring these up close so you can see them 
I don't know whether we're meant to be using the reverse side of it, but I think the reverse side is just as nice. Okay. So there we go. That is everything that I bought from the um, pre-order. We are only given a selected list from the catalogue that we could choose from. Um, I didn't choose everything, just nearly everything. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this little trip through my products. And if you're my customers, I will be sending out your catalogue to you really very, very soon. So you've got time to have a look at it before you can actually order. Okay, so many thanks for joining me today. Please take care, stay safe, stay well. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheerio!